Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel and you've never seen any of my videos before and you just found this video because you were searching stuff about golden retrievers, uh, my name is Emily, this is Jax, and this is Daisy. And today we're doing a grooming video. Um, so a company reached out to me, which I'll explain the product later, um, and they sent me one of their products. So I'm gonna be using that today. Um, which again, I'll explain that later and what it is and who the company is and all that. Um, but yeah, we're doing a full grooming routine today. Um, Jax's Grinch feet are kind of getting out of hand, like very out of hand. So I'm going to use the new product on these to see how it does. Um, and yeah, just overall, we're going to start out doing a bath, um, and then we're going to let them dry. I don't have a um, blow dryer for them yet. That's just not something that I've invested in. Um, I don't really blow dry them just because it takes so long. So I'm going to just let them air dry, um, which is hot enough in, here in Florida to be able to do that. Um, and they dry pretty quickly. Um, and then we're going to brush them, do all the trimming, get out any gnats, um, that they might have. I know they have some behind their ears and kind of in like their butt hair. Um, and then we're also going to clip their nails, clean their ears, all that good stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to put a disclaimer out that I'm not a professional groomer. Um, so anything that I am doing, I have just learned to do myself. I had our golden retriever growing up and my mom always uh, just groomed him ourselves, herself. Um, so I just kind of have always done that. Um, and also it saves a lot of money um they're two pretty big dogs for a groomer is pretty expensive um and they let me do it and i've done it since they were puppies um so if you have any questions about them uh just leave it down below i will tell you that Jax is three years old he turned three in march um and daisy is two years old she turned two in november so she's almost three not quite yet um but they are brother and sister they have the same dad, a different mom, um, and I got them from a breeder in Alabama. Um, so if you have questions on where I got them from, um, just message me over on my Instagram. I almost always respond to all the DMs that I get over there about them. Um, so that's the best place to really ask me questions. I do try to respond to every comment that I get, um, but sometimes they get lost. Oh, sorry. They get lost in, you know, all of the comments. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I do give them a bath outside during the summer because like I said, we are in Florida and um, it's very hot here. So it's fine to give them a bath. It's fine to give them a bath um, outside. Yes, we're, we're, we're taking a bath, Jax. He hates the word bath. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's fine to give them a bath outside because it's hot enough so that it's not like super cold on them or anything. It's actually like pretty refreshing. Um, and then, yeah, if I give them a bath inside, it's only in the, the winter months um, because it gets really dirty in there anytime I give them a bath. So, yeah. You ready? You want to take a bath? And I'll go ahead and say now that the products that I use, um, I have mentioned before in previous videos. So, um, if you're interested more about them, then go check them out there. I'm sure I'll explain it in like a voiceover type deal. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. You want to take a bath? You want to take a bath? Where are you going? We're doing it out front. Easy. Do you want to take a bath? Okay, so the first thing I do before I start to give them a bath is I go ahead and gather everything that I'll need. I always use three towels just in case I need an extra one grab their shampoo. This is the one that I use that I've shown before that that company actually sent to me and the brush from them. That's a little scrubber brush that helps to get the hair off, which you'll see. So for this video, I am bathing the dogs outside. I have bathed them inside before in one of my previous grooming videos. But that was during the winter time. Um, it's obviously the summer, so I bathe them outside. Um, the first thing that I do is I go ahead and one, make sure the camera is recording, which is why I looked at it, but also feeling the water and letting the hot water out because when the hose sits, it gets really hot. 
and then making sure that it's a good temperature for him. So first I'm doing Jack's. I just go ahead and get him completely wet. Uh, I've gotten some comments saying that Golden Retriever's coats are waterproof, which is not true um, at all. They actually get very wet um, very quickly. So I just go ahead and get him wet before I put the shampoo on. You've been gone for way too long now. If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would. When nothing really matters, that's all I want to do. Again, this is the shampoo that I use. I love this kind. It doesn't smell like wet dog bad smell, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I just go ahead and get them soapy all over, pretty much everywhere on their body besides their head because I do get questions about why I don't scrub their head. Um, I don't like to get water in their ears because they can get infections easily, so I do kind of rinse off their face with water, but I don't put any soap or anything like that on them. Also, I've gotten a few questions on my Instagram about how I get them to stand still when I wash them. Um, I've given them a bath since they were puppies and they kind of just know the drill at this point. Um, so it just comes with time. I know some people have to tie their dog to a leash. As you can see, Jax likes to see other dogs and watch um, the kids and stuff like that that are outside. But for the most part, they stay pretty still during a bath and it's kind of quick and painless. So this is a scrub brush. That's how much hair can get stuck in it after I use it on Jax. So it's definitely helpful to kind of get all their loose hair out so it doesn't all come out after they dry. I do take more soap and go ahead and get it like under their belly and stuff um, just because that area does tend to get dirty when they go swimming and stuff like that um, and then I go ahead and do their paws and kind of get in between their toes. Um, at this point Jax is pretty much over getting a bath so I um, kind of have to drag him back in and he wants it to be over but it's not over quite yet. <laughs> Then I go over them with the hose just one more time um, just to make sure that I got all the soap and everything out um, and then I kind of just wring the water out like with my hands rub it out um, and I do kind of like scrunch areas where I know that there's a lot of hair um, I also take that little scrubber brush and I clean it out first and then I kind of like rub out all the extra hair that might fall out or any water that's just kind of trapped in their hair I go ahead and do their favorite part which is getting dried off with a towel the towel obviously doesn't dry them all the way but it doesn't leave them soaking wet um, I do let the dogs back inside after I give them a bath just because honestly my house is very dog friendly so it doesn't really matter if they're in there when they're wet um, but yeah I just go ahead and like wipe their ears and their face and make sure that they're not dripping So now I brought Daisy out and I did the exact same thing with her. Um, there's really nothing different about it. Um, literally exact same thing, just a different dog.
Searching for more Afraid to leave, afraid to show Fight to leave, fight to leave, fight to Sometimes Find yourself knowing no Lost in looking for a soul And then this is what they do after they get a bath. They Daisy likes to rub all over my couch and Jax likes to rub on the carpet, on his bed. And sometimes he'll jump on the couch and rub all over the couch as well. But that's pretty much what they do. Um, yeah, it smells like wet dog, but oh well, who cares? And then of course, after I give them a treat for being so good, these are the treats that we use. I've talked about them before in one of my previous videos. So now it is the next day. They are completely dry and everything. Um, I just go ahead and let them dry for a day and then I go ahead into the grooming. Um, so the first thing that I do before I groom them, I go ahead and cut out any like matting or anything like that. Um, they did have it pretty bad behind their ears. I also got a question over on my Instagram about, um, about them getting knots behind their ears if there's any way to avoid it. Honestly, the only way to avoid it is to just brush behind their ears as much as you can, like daily, um, just like brush them. Um, we don't daily brush our dogs, um, we're just kind of bad about that, um, but the way to avoid matting and stuff like that is to brush them constantly or if you feel a mat starting when you're petting them or whatever, um, just either cut it out or try to brush it out. I don't mind cutting it out because I know it probably hurts them pulling on it. Um, but yeah, they get it behind their ears, under their belly where you saw, and then Jax get it, gets it pretty bad under his tail. And then Daisy, she had a few like on her chest belly area, um, but she had a really bad one behind her ear. So it took me a while to kind of cut it out and then brush behind there. And I ended up cutting out a lot of hair, but um, you can't even tell because they have so much hair. And 
and then I go ahead and brush them um, outside I did leave my camera inside so that's why you see like the nasty window from the dog's noses but it's so humid here in florida that if i bring my camera outside it gets very fogged up very easily and i just wanted to quickly brush them so i could move into actually grooming them um so i just brush them with my normal brush if you want to see what brush i use um check out my previous grooming video and i mention it in there it's just from from walmart Okay, and for the product that I was telling you guys about, this is the professional pet hair clipper kit that Omorc sent me. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's O-M-O-R-C, and they are on Amazon. Um, I will link everything down below, but they were nice and sent this to me and the dogs. Um, it's just normal dog clippers. Um, they actually worked very well, and I was very impressed. Um, I'll talk to you guys more about exactly how I use them. But this is what it looks like, and then this is what it comes with. It just comes with the actual clipper, um, a bunch of different blades, which was super useful, um, some scissors, which you guys just saw me use, and this awesome comb that was actually very helpful. So I first went in and started grooming Daisy. The first thing that I did was I used the clippers without a blade on them, which I would definitely be careful doing. Um, I didn't feel like I was going to cut them or anything. They aren't like sharp or, or anything like that, but um, obviously be careful. Um, but I basically just started on those Grinch feet and just cut any excess hair that was hanging out in between her toes or anything like that and just groomed it up a little bit. Andy went ahead and grabbed the camera to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I did that to all of her paws and just cleaned them up. A little bit. I went in with the scissors afterwards and just cleaned anything that I couldn't get with the clippers. And then after I did her paws, I went ahead and basically groomed like this. There's these areas on their legs that are like super fluffy. Um, and so I just kind of like trim those down with um, without a guard on. Um, definitely be careful doing this because you can definitely nick it and it'll look like a really bad haircut. Um, some goldens I noticed don't have this little fluffy area, but mine do. So I just kind of trimmed it up a little bit for them as well as on the back of um, Daisy's neck where she has little fluffies and stuff like that. Then I moved into trimming her ears. I just trim them to where they're basically even with her actual ear. Um, and then I trim inside of her ear, which definitely be careful doing. Um, but that way there aren't like little ear hairs that like go inside her ear and bother her or get like dirty or anything like that. That's all I want to do. I hope that you are safe and that I will see you soon. If I can lay down beside you. And 
And then this is for the part that I was very impressed with these clippers. So again, thank you to them for sending these to me um, because they were super useful and they definitely knocked down a lot of time as far as grooming them. Um, I went ahead and did their butt, which you'll be able to see better on Jax um, with the way the camera was. But I went ahead and used a seven blade on the clipper and then I went ahead and just went up and down with it and it didn't like take off a ton of hair but it definitely shaved it down to where they look nice and freshly groomed and it isn't so thick and fluffy and I don't feel like it's going to get tangled as easily as it did before. And then after that I just went ahead and brushed her out with a little comb making sure I got any knots or anything like that and just seeing if there was any areas that needed to still be done. And then this is what Daisy looked like at the end to give you guys an overview. I do keep them long haired because they are long haired goldens um, but I really like the way that everything turned out. She didn't need too much trimming in her tail or on her um, kind of like leg area I guess. Then I went ahead and it was actually the next day because it got dark the night before. Um, I went ahead and did Jax the next day and I did him in the garage because it was um, sprinkling a little bit outside that day. So I went ahead and did the exact same thing with him. Went ahead and did his Grinch feet. His were super bad, especially the back ones for some reason got really long um, as you guys can see. Um, but I went ahead and trimmed those down. And then again, after I was done with his paws, I went ahead and did the little fluffies that are all around. I don't really know how to explain it any more than little fluffies, um, but you guys can kind of see the hair fall off and it just looks more like cleaner cut, I guess. I did go ahead and put a guard on when I was doing this. Um, I think I put like a three or a four on. Um, just to be on the safe side and kind of um, trim it up a little bit more.
So this was a question that I got was how to trim their chest or mane area. And I went ahead and looked at Jack's because he has more of a mane than Daisy does. And honestly, there wasn't really any areas that needed to really be trimmed. Um, it was kind of just his belly, like where that hair hangs down that's super long. But I don't really do any trimming on their mane or anything like that. I just kind of let it be what it is and it doesn't get too out of hand or anything. So then here's where I moved into Jax's butt area. I went ahead and trimmed like right under his tail, like literally where his tail starts because that's where he gets a lot of matting and stuff, I think from licking that area. Um, and also it's just for cleanliness to kind of keep that area from getting, you know, super dirty, if you know what I mean. Um, so I just kind of like shaved underneath of his tail, which you can't even see um, because I think that'll just help a lot with his matting and just to keep it clean over there. And then I went ahead with the scissors and just trimmed up his um, tail, like his long hair on his tail. Um, I took off about an inch and a half um, off of his tail just because it was getting pretty long and out of hand. Um, so it's a lot easier to keep brushed and cleaned and everything. And then this is the fun part where I went with a seven um, guard on the clipper and then I went ahead and did his butt area um, as you can see like all the hair that's falling off of him um, which seems like a lot but I'm not like shaving him or anything um, it's just his hair was really long and thick back there um, so you'll see how much hair comes off of it um, but it was so much easier than using scissors I highly 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 recommend this is thinking about you not doing well. and that is all the hair that came off of him which is crazy considering like I don't even know how he still has any hair left then I went with some scissors and I just trimmed up anything that was like sticking out funky or anything like that and then combed it out nicely to see if there's anything else that needed to be done went ahead and trimmed his arm hair because um, that was getting pretty long I took maybe a half of an inch off of that um, and just kind of like evened it up a little. Again, I just eye everything. Um, I'm not a professional groomer. My dogs are not show dogs. Um, so I just eye up everything. Um, just what I think looks good and makes them look nice and clean. We talk on the phone every night. Love to hear your voice, not sleeping well. And I know that you're right, but you should know it. You've been gone for way too long. And then I went ahead with the comb and just brushed them out all the way, making sure that I got everything and there weren't any knots or anything. When nothing really matters, that's all I want. And this is what he looked like. His feet look so good and he looks so handsome. So I'm really happy with how he turned out. Even if you gone, I won't forget you. You're all I know, what I need, and that ain't changing. Even if you gone, I will remember you all I know. So after I trim them and everything and all the hair cutting is over with, I go ahead and cut their nails and put this paw bomb on. Um, these are the clippers that I use and then the paw bomb, which is from the same company that I use the shampoo of. Um, and I've talked about that in a previous video. Um, but this is what I use on their paws. Um, some goldens, their paws get very cracked and stuff. Um, so this just helps so that, you know, to protect their paws, especially if you live in a colder climate. Um, I don't apply this all the time, but I do apply it anytime that I cut their nails. Okay, as for trimming their nails, um, I get so many questions about how I get my goldens to lay, lay down and just lay there while I trim their nails. Um, they are just used to it. Like anything else, I've done it to them since they were puppies. They're just used to it. Um, it takes time. Jax and Daisy both hated when I would cut their nails. They absolutely hated it. They would fight me, they would bite me, they would try to scratch me when they were puppies. And it just got to the point where I would just hold them down and forcefully make them let me cut their nails. And it does help when they're puppies if you play with their paws and just make it a normal thing for you to be messing with their paws. Um, so yeah, just do that and 
honestly if they're older and they're still doing that then they might just be not liking their paws flipped at all you should maybe like give them a kong to lick on or a bone or something like that to distract them and i have heard of people using like a dremel and stuff like that um i just don't have that and i am perfectly fine with clipping their nails um just make sure that you know how to clip their nails so you don't cut it too short and make them bleed or anything um luckily my dog's nails are clear or like that clear opaque color um, so I don't really have to worry about not being able to see or anything and I'm so used to it now that I don't really worry about cutting it too short or anything like that. And then for the paw balm, I just go ahead and put some on my finger and just rub it anywhere that I see their paw is cracked and I also, I also put it all over their paws um, just to give that extra protection and it kind of just like waxes them a little bit and it makes them like nice and soft. It is also safe for them to lick so you don't really have to worry about that if that's what they do after you put it on. You've been gone for way too long now If I can lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I want to do I hope that you are safe And that I will see you soon If I can lay down beside you I would, I would Okay, and for the final step of this whole grooming routine, I go ahead and clean their ears even if they aren't dirty. Um, I will notice sometimes if they're itching their ears a lot or shaking their head a lot that their ears will need to be cleaned in between like grooming and stuff. So I'll just, this is what I use really anytime. But I just use cotton rounds and then I use this ear cleaning solution. I will leave a link down below and I've also talked about it in I think three of my previous videos so go ahead and check those out. Um, but I've gotten this from our vet when one of them had a ear infection and then I just keep it on hand. Um, but you can order it off of Amazon. I just squirt a little bit in each ear and then I use a cotton round with my finger and basically stick your finger in as far as it'll go kind of like rubbing it around. Um, and then I also wipe the outside of their ear with the cotton round after the solution is on it. And that keeps their ears super clean and I really don't have to worry about any ear infections ever. So that is it for this grooming routine video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know Jax and Daisy don't love it, but they definitely love the attention. Um, it turned out really good and I really love when they're nice and fresh and clean and perfectly groomed. Um, even though in about a month we'll probably need it again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Message me over on my Instagram. I also just started an Instagram just for Jackson Daisy, so you can always message over there. Make sure you follow that Instagram and go and like all their pictures and show them some love. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.